Good morning and happy Monday. Thank you for joining us for the Daily Office on this beautiful Monday, August the 22nd, 2022. A reading from John. The hour is coming and now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth, for such the Father seeks to worship him. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And Alleluia. Together, the Jubilate. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise, and give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Our first psalm this morning is psalm number one, in unison. Happy are they who have not walked in the counsel of the wicked, nor lingered in the way of sinners, nor sat in the seats of the scornful. Their delight is in the law of the Lord, and they meditate on his law day and night. They are like trees planted by streams of water, bearing fruit in due season with leaves that do not wither. Everything they do shall prosper. It is not so with the wicked. They are like the chaff which the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked will not stand upright when judgment comes, nor the sinner in the counsel of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked is doomed. Psalm 2. Why are the nations in an uproar? Why do the peoples mutter empty threats? Why do the kings of the earth rise up in revolt and the princes plot together against the Lord and against his anointed? Let us break their yoke, they say. Let us cast off their bonds from us. He whose throne is in heaven is laughing. The Lord has them in derision. And he speaks to them in his wrath and his rage fills them with terror. I myself have set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. Let me announce the decree of the Lord, he said to me. You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for your inheritance, and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall crush them with an iron rod, and shatter them like a piece of pottery. And now, you kings, be wise, be warned, you rulers of the earth. Submit to the Lord with fear, and with trembling bow before him. Lest he be angry and you perish, for his wrath is quickly kindled. Happy are they all who take refuge in him. Psalm 3. Lord, how many adversaries I have. How many there are who rise up against me. How many there are who say of me, there is no help for him in his God. But you, O Lord, are a shield about me. You are my glory, the one who lifts up my head. I call aloud upon the Lord, and he answers me from his holy hill. I lie down and go to sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. I do not fear the multitudes of people who set themselves against me all around. Rise up, O Lord, set me free, O my God. Surely you will strike all my enemies across the face. You will break the teeth of the wicked. Deliverance belongs to the Lord. Your blessing be upon your people. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first lesson comes from the book of Job. Then Eliphaz the Temanite answered, Call now. Is there anyone who will answer you? To which of the holy ones will you turn? Surely vexation kills the fool and jealousy slays the simple. I have seen fools taking root, but suddenly I curse their dwelling. Their children are far from safety. They are crushed in the gate, and there is no one to deliver them. The hungry eat their harvest, and they take it out even out of the thorns, and the thirsty pant after their wealth. For misery does not come from the earth, nor does trouble sprout from the ground, but human beings are born to trouble just as sparks fly upward. 
As for me, I would seek God, and to God I would commit my cause. He does great things and unsearchable, marvelous things without number. He gives rain on the earth and sends waters on the fields. He sets on high those who are lowly, and those who mourn are lifted to safety. How happy is the one whom God reproves. Therefore, do not despise the discipline of the Almighty, for he wounds, but he binds up. He strikes, but his hands heal. He will deliver you from six troubles. In seven, no harm shall touch you. In famine, he will redeem you from death and in war from the power of the sword. You shall be hidden from the scourge of the tongue and shall not fear destruction when it comes. You shall come up to your grave in ripe old age as a shock of grain comes up from the threshing floor in its season. See, we have searched this out. It is true. Hear and know it for yourself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle is the first song of Isaiah, Echideus, together. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation, and on that day you shall say, Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the people. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing praises of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, ring out your joy, for the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from John. The Jews then disputed among themselves, saying, How can this man give us flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Very truly, I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood abide in me, and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so whoever eats me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, not like that which your ancestors ate, and they died. But the one who eats this bread will live forever. He said these things while he was teaching in the synagogue at Capernaum. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Magna et Mirabilia, the song of the redeemed. <clears throat> o ruler of the universe, Lord God, great things are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness of truth, O king of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us profess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us now pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages be. 
Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Grant, O merciful God, that your church, being gathered together in unity by your Holy Spirit, may show forth your power among all peoples to the glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A collect for the renewal of life. It's Monday. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that, having done your will with cheerfulness throughout the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now a prayer for mission. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross so that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you. For the honor of your name, amen. Let us now pause here and bring our own needs, intercessions, and intentions before the Lord and ask for his indulgence, his mercy, and his forgiveness. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions, as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power, working in us, can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us for morning prayer. Please join us again tomorrow morning. We do this every morning, Monday through Saturday at 10 o'clock through the week. We invite you to be our guest frequently. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Remember, leave the world a better place this evening than you found it this morning.